In this video tutorial, we will see how to turn your Blazor WebAssembly app into a progressive web application, also known as PlayWA. So with the progressive web app, you will be able to use the application on your devices and also have the offline support which the Blazor WebAssembly PWA offers. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed to stay tuned. So let's get started. Open Visual Studio and create a new project. So we will select Blazor application. We will enter PWA Blazor application. Create. And here, as you can see, we have two options. The first one is a Blazor server app, which runs both on the client and the server. And then the second option, we have the Blazor WebAssembly app, which runs on the client machine fully. So to configure the PWA app, we will need to select the Blazor WebAssembly app. And then make sure to select the progressive web application checkbox. Click on create. So to configure the PWA, you will first you will need to use the Blazor WebAssembly app and then make sure to select the progressive application. So under the www root, so here we have the icon as you can see and then we have the manifest file and the service worker.js file. So let's open the manifest.json file. And here, as you can see, we have the name of the application, the stored URL, and then the display, how it will be displayed, the background color, the theme color, and also icons. In the service worker.js file, we will have the service worker.publish file. So let's open the service worker.publish file. And here you will get the service worker, which will perform the cache so that you can get access to the file even when you're offline. So here we have the service worker code, which is auto generated. Now let's open the index.html file. And here, as you can see, we already have the, the manifest file, which is called here. And also we have the icon. So here we have the same icon that will be displayed in our PWA app. We have the size also, 512 by 512. Now let's run our application to see how it works. So here, as you can see, we have our Blazor application. Now on top, we will get a plus sign. Click on it. And here, as you can see, we have the application logo, the name and install. So it is from the manifest.json file. And now let's click on install. And here it is. So here we have the standalone application. And we have these options available. Let's search it in our device because we have already installed it. So here it is.
and as you can see it's working now let's go to offline mode let's turn it offline So as you can see, it's working and you can also create a shortcut to desktop so that you can access it quickly. Now let's uninstall the application. And if you click here, you will get several options. So you can get the application info. Here you can zoom it in or out. Now let's uninstall the application. So click on uninstall. And here you can also clear the data that is saved from Chrome. So let's clear it and click on remove. Thanks for watching guys. If this video tutorial has helped you, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to check my other Blazor tutorial from the Blazor playlist. Thank you.